Well, good evening and welcome to Fishing with CJ on the beach. And tonight, I don't like to declare what we're fishing for, but whilst I'm tackling up because I got here a little bit late, I'm down here with Steve and I'm with Jay the Rayman. And uh, Steve and I were chatting away while I was baiting up my second rod. And he suddenly said, slack line bite. And he ran off down the beach and uh, he's on the way down to get some water because next to his rods, there is the target species. Target species achieved. Not a monster, but also not too small. So absolutely fantastic. It portends for a good night. So let's get, get tackled up and uh, see if I can't get one. But uh, yeah. <laughs> Only a little one, but... Well done, Steve. Say hello to the people. Right. <laughs> right, target species achieved. So, let's get tackled up and I'll put the camera back on when something happens. Right, we can settle down a bit now. I've got both my rods out. Um, all a little bit of rushing around because Steve had that nice ray whilst I was still tackling up. Um, I've got two rods out. One's got bluey on. One's got a sand eel on. What did you have that fish on, Steve? King prawns. Wow. So, something I haven't got in my tackle box. <laughs> The secret bait of last year for smooth hounds, um, without a doubt. I, had, I, had, I was just saying to Jay here, I had 21, 21 uh, smooth hounds last year, and every one of them was on king prawn. So I do rate it as a bait. Uh, it, you know, and I, I doubt if it's as good as fresh, pe uh, fresh peelers, but um, it's up there with them. You only got to see the amount of juice you get all over your hands when, you, when you're hooking them up, that you realise that they're putting a lot of scent out into the water. Although, no God-fearing English Channel smooth hand will have ever seen a king prawn in its life. But, uh, yeah, anyway, so we've got rods are out, we're fishing, uh, we've first blood to Steve. No, actually, first blood was to Jay, because uh, Jay had a dogfish. Um, so, first, dog, first blood to Jay, second blood to Steve, the target species achieved. Um, obviously, if I catch a target species, um, there will be some music and a dance. I'm proper tired, but there was a Tony's Tackle Sea Match channel match um, this morning, on this, through to the beginning of this afternoon. There was four, 38 anglers fished it, and I had to go and see, speak to every single one of them, so that was quite a bit of a hike. Uh, and during the match, there were quite a few rays caught, so uh, we've come to one of the marks where they were catching rays during the day, with the hope that night time there'll be even more coming on here. Well, clearly there is, because we've had one. No sooner do I think about a cup of tea and a piece of cake, but I get a bite. Nothing spectacular, but it was definitely a little tug-tug then. Of course, I put the camera on, and we all know what happens when, that, when the camera goes on. Oh, I've got a bite on the right-hand rod as well. <laughs> So I've had a bite on the on the sand eel, and it's moved over to the to the uh, bluey. Just little tentative knocks, though. Nothing nothing serious. Here we go. Left end rods going now. There were quite a few white in court today, so which is a bit of a worry. And there was an awful lot of dogfish caught. So I'm anticipating we will get plagued with dogfish and there will be a few annoying little bites from whiting. We'll have a look at what everyone's using for tackle wise um, later in the video, I think. Um, Jay, who's fishing to my right, Jay the Ray they're calling him because he has caught an awful lot of rays in the last few weeks. He really has done his homework and um, it's his target species and he's very good at it.
<sighs> yes, another little quivery tappy tap tap on the left hand rod. Come on, give us a big slack line or a big great big fold around. Oh, that's a bit better. That's a bit better. Now, what do we do? Do we leave it? Let it develop? Which is what a lot of the match anglers I watch do. Or do we pick it up and feel for a tug and then tug back? Again, it's not, not a big, fierce, fierce bite. So what do you reckon, Steve? Do you, do the rays bite hard? What's that, Chris? The, the rays bite hard, or is it a quivery little bite? I know you had a slack liner, didn't you? That was just a flat line bite. Yeah. And it, uh, it got caught round its tail. Yeah. Which was, it was a, almost a dead weight. Yeah. And then I went over the other line, and I think I've, I've uh, probably released that, but uh, right. it's still holding the okay. Yeah. I keep getting the odd little knock on both rods, actually. Could be a race trying to settle over the bait, trying to find it. That's right, yeah. Settle over it. Generally, I mean, if, if, you're, if you're lucky and you can see the bites, it's a, generally a vibration and then it pulls off. Yeah, well, I've had a couple of little vibrations. Yeah. But I haven't had any pull offs. Yeah, I mean, the vibrations, because they flutter over the top of it, don't they, and yeah. settle, settle on the bait. And then I guess they get pricked by the hook and they swim or try to swim away. Yeah, either towards the, you know, yeah. down the tide or up yeah. the tide, whatever they want to do. And I guess there's also one of their defence mechanisms is to, is to just go and flutter into the sand. Yep. Now that one was um, hooked on the bottom hook of the panel hook. Oh, okay. But it's. Uh, the line was wrapped around its tail three times when I got yeah. to the beach, so. So it turned away and was swimming away. Yeah. Which would probably explain the slack line. Yeah. Because it's pulled your lead out, pulled your lead out. So, I'm very happy. Yeah, That's happy. What I've come over for, so. Yeah, well, I'll, uh, I'll definitely, uh, if I get one, there will be some music and you get to strut my stuff. Oh, yeah, please do. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't get a dance for a dogfish. He'll be all right. Yeah, the, the old Ray, Jay the Ray, will soon. Uh, yeah. Seen wallop us with a big one. Yeah, he will do, no doubt. His bluey head special. Yeah. There was a couple of small eyes caught today. More yeah, than so, a couple. Yeah, so he said. I um. I bumped into another fisherman who walked all the way up here in Pevensey. All right. Today, and he thought. Somebody had an undulate, but uh, no, no, it was. I might have misheard that. And it was no, the, there was a rumour that Julian had had an undulate. Yeah. But he didn't. He had a small eye and a thorn back. Right. Anyway, it's nice to see something other than thorn backs. Yes. Especially and this side of the head. I mean, the other side you get all sorts, but mm. around here. And small eyes get big. You can get big small eyes, can't you? So. See, I get loads of little knocks and rattles. I suspect there might be poxy little pouting or something. Oh, you got a bite there, yeah, yeah. Well, I've had. It's been going like that for a while. You got one, Jay? Jay's into something, is he? Yeah, it looks like it. All right, let's have a look. What's Jay? See if he lands another another king size dogfish. Fish on, Jay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just the other side of that, there's a red and white boy. Right. And the boat was fishing there. And he had a I heard. Kilo but I also heard that on that boy, on no, the boy that's out here, there were so many rays that the boats were, were, was fishing. He got sick of them. Yeah. Dog. Dog.
Oh, another doggy. Oh, well done. Toot the Jay. Toot the Jay. Want to want to Steve and none to me. Well, I've got interest. Don't I? There is interest. Have you? I've got mono on my right hand rod on the multiplier, and I've got braid on the fixed ball. I've got mono on both. Okay. Have a look. Probably been on there for half hour. T-bar him off. Yeah. T-bar. Well done. I've still got still with that right hand rod. Both of my rods are going. Yeah. Now, obviously, the left hand rod's got braid on it. That's got sand eel on it, yeah. Might be. No, and that's the thing about mono, isn't it? Is is I think I think that you do catch more fish on mono though, and I and I don't know quite why. Maybe because you do leave them at the baits out a bit longer, or or the the the, the, the fish don't feel the line quite so quick. I know a lot of the top match anglers use use mono, don't they? So, right, I'm going to bind this in now. It's definitely going. So, <laughs> Certainly some weight on there. Something on there. Oh. The lead's just broken out anyway, but there's still some weight there. And dogfish for Steve. Let's hope this doesn't turn into a total dog fest and we do get a few more rays. Oh, dogfish for me as well. Well, that's me on the card anyway. Yay! Not a blank, but you don't get a dance for a dogfish. Oh, he swallowed this, swallowed this right down. Right, I don't think I had the camera on. So, Bringing in my other rod now, which was banging and rattling away for quite a while. Let's have a look, see what we've got in here. Oh, this has got monofill on here. The bites won't be quite so showy. Oh, expect another doggy. Uh. Bit close to the groin. Quite easy now, am I? There's 
woken up. But I do think it's another dogfish. It says bluey on it, so. Well, I don't know, maybe not. Maybe nothing here. Oh no, another dogfish. Another doggy. <laughs> Well, that's, that's, that'll be nice to know. The bloody greedy things at both hooks. In theory. In theory. The problem is that they're, they're a bit more voracious than the rays, so they get to the bait before they do. So I'm, I wound my first rod in, trying to get the, the, the uh, dogfish off because he's engorged both hooks. And my left end rod, which has only just been cast out, started going loopy. Um, gone a bit quiet now. Steve very kindly is disgorging that dogfish. Take a bit of line on that, see if we get any more. I think your rods are going as well. I've done it, thanks mate. This one's gone a bit quiet now. Um, I'll tackle the first rod up and get that out. Wind into this if something happens. Definitely go, isn't it?
Another ray, another doggy to Jay. I think I've got one on here as well, so let's turn this around and wind it in. Yeah, I think that's the problem, isn't it? Yeah. Right, let's wind this right hand rod in and see if we've got on there what we got on there that was banging away some good bites on it. I think I, I had a Steve and a dogfish. <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> yeah. He's How is he? Jolly good. Yeah. Well done. Right, put him on the camera. And let's get him back. And away! And he's away. Is that coming at me all line then, Steve? Well, what I thought I'd try, because the, the dogfish had foul hooked itself, so it hadn't actually noshed the bait. The bait was fairly intact, but obviously it's been out there a while, so a lot of the juices have gone out of it. So all I've done is I've just elasticated another sand on the back of it, so it's du double chunky bait with lots of fresh juice. Um, let's hope we can uh, attract the target species with it. Chucking out lots of scent anyway, because it was, it was juices coming out all over the place. I was as I was elasticating it. Whoops! Well, this, this might be the last um, fish with CJ from the beach for a while because my bit of news is if you haven't already picked up on it, bought a new boat. Uh, it's, it's out of the water at the moment, just having a few bits done to it, but hopefully it will be in the water next week in time for, I've taken a week off in the beginning of April and uh, hope to get out and catch some fish. It, christen it. So, fingers crossed, this will be my last beach session for a little while, and the next sessions that you see on the Fishing with CJ channel will be back on the boat. Happy days. Well, we've got a bit of a dogfish activity on the right hand rod again, I think. record the bite on the camera. Yeah, there it's going. Yep, 
Yeah, I think we're... Uh, it's going to be a dogfish plague tonight. And Steve, Steve at least had a, has had a ray, so uh, the target species has been achieved, but albeit the only one. See again? Coming up to the prime Alright, it's coming up to the prime time. So Jay, the, the ray expert. Pump, don't be negative. <laughs> Enough of the negative vibes, man. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get there. <laughs> calling the rays, calling all rays. <laughs> right, so on that note, I'll put the camera off for a minute and uh, something will happen. Let's just see what he's got. Let me come down. I've got my wages on. Oh, you've got a bit of red on yours. Is that a bit of illumination? Sorry? Is that a secret weapon, that bit of red on there, is it? Oh, it's yeah, just beads. Pop up. Oh, okay. Let's have a look at what uh, Steve's been fishing with. So he's got, got a whole three, squid. Three sand dill. Oh, three sand With a wrap of squid. And then I've got two pop ups. Oh, okay. I mean, they're not enough pop ups to float it, but it'll no, just no, make just it moving. Move. Yeah. But, um, I mean, that doesn't look as though it's been touched, does no, it? No, it doesn't. I'll put it out again. Right? Yeah, and then quite a long snood. I'm, I'm fishing shorter snoods than that, to be truthful. Yeah. Well, these are what I made up to go to uh, yeah. Hull. To go where? When I went to Hull. Oh, yeah, okay. I made these up over there. Yeah. About, a, about three foot for rays and two foot six for coddling, so. Yeah. Right. Okay, well done. Works okay. Alright, get that Quite one back. Again. Yeah. Nothing happening on my rods at all. Steve's mic switched off, so uh, you can turn it on when he's, once he's cast out. Jay, you just, you're just baking up a rig there, Jay, eh? Yeah, yeah, Alright. Come over and show you how I fill it um, a blurry in a minute. Yeah, yeah, that'd be good. So, so Jay, how do you, how do you fill it and use bluey? Bluey? I'll show you how I cut them up. You right. the sharpish knife. Yeah. It's always good to have. All I do. Come behind it, all there. Cut along. Back toe, like that. Then I cut the tail off. All right. Because you don't want that bit. That stop, that spins in the water, so you don't want that. And all I do, cut it. Um, so you cut one half, got bone in, yeah? Yeah, one half got bone in. A lot of people cut their blueies. Too big, you don't need it big. Right, OK. They've only a small as well. Yeah. But cut the head off like that. Yeah. A lot of scent in the head. Yeah. I've been packing a lot of big lanes at yeah. the minute on the head section. Then the bits of bone, just break them with your knife. Right. 
and the other bit you just cut right like the tail section I love these baiting spoons they yeah. come in three different sizes yeah the smallest one. Right. That is my go-to one at the minute. And with the tail baits, I turn them back from. Oh, okay, so you put two tails in, right, okay. Two, two tails, that be one bait, and then... Find the end of the elastic. Always good when your hands are wet and slippery. Mm-hmm. Just wrap them up, back to back. Don't be afraid of using cotton. It don't hurt the fish. No. But and it's you biodegradable. See all the grease coming out of that. Yeah. Now, you know. And then to tie it off, just go one, two, three, four. You don't need to do four really. Yeah. Three's all right. Then with these. Absolutely great. That's one bait ready yeah. to go. And I'll have my Frio hook sticking out of that. Yeah. Circle hook. Mm -hmm. Just nicked in the end. So okay. It's like a hair rig. Yeah. You know, and the other baits just fold them over. It doesn't matter about the backbone in that because no. there's a lot of blood. Yeah. And stuff that's in the back bones, and the fish ain't gonna care. No. And it holds it together quite well. But yeah, a lot of people think you've got to have massive baits, you know, mm. and all that. Like, I use that, and if it comes in, hasn't been touched, yes, scents washed out of it. Yeah. But what I do then is one of these smaller bits cutting a couple of strips like that so I just put the hooks in it and it comes in I just tie that to it okay just to give it a bit more scent otherwise you're using all your bait yeah and it's yeah. getting expensive no quite you know? <laughs> you know? yeah yeah, yeah. I normally get about six baits out of the blueies, so yeah. big baits, and then I've got the little bits that I use yeah. just, just to make them bigger. But that, ideal size, size of your thumb, yeah. you know, you don't right. need something bigger than that really. Well it definitely works, you prove that. Well, not tonight, but... Well not yet anyway. <laughs> not yet tonight. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's do uh, let's the negative vibe, yeah, man. Yeah, that's me on about you doing it. Yeah. And yeah, but that, once again, yeah. size my farm, you know. Yeah. But yeah, great investment. The bait, bait, bait mate. Yeah, I, do, I think I've got them from Bills. Oh, okay. I think yeah. Bills have them. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, I'm, I made the mistake of only getting a one, and, and I, I do need to get the little one, actually. I think. You can't really see it on there, but that's the competition. Right, okay. The small one's the competition. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. But I very rarely use them. Yeah. Maybe if I've got the big squid. Yeah. And I have the squid head coming out there. And yeah. The hooks on there because you've got the clip, clip yeah. working. And that. Yeah. And you have your squid head yeah. sticking out. They're perfect, though. All right. They're great. Yeah. Yeah, it's still got the stick again, like. Nice one. Right, I need to get one. I do need to get one. Yeah. Right, it's winding one of these rods. It's winding the rod that's got bluey on then, and let's see if we can rig a bluey up in the J technique. Here you go, whack that bit on. Alright, cheers, thank you. Already prepared. Oh yeah, right. yeah, proper proper job. <laughs> Alright, let's put that yeah. down there.
He's been on there a while, I feel. <laughs> Hope he engulfed me hooks. But uh, spat them out. So, Mr. Dogfish, go back in the sea. Swim, swim, little dogfish. Well, <laughs> I've left both of these rods out for quite a long time. Nothing seems to be happening. But obviously, I've had dogfish on both of them and they've been sitting there. Yeah, it did, didn't it? No. Oh well. It's definitely a good bite. Yeah, as you say, it looked like a bass bite. Just think it's going to be one of them nights. <laughs> This feels like a better fish. Yeah. Something yeah. solid. Yeah. Do you want to just take that? Jay, do you want to just take this for a second and I'll come over, come round. We'll come over. Yeah, mate. Cheers, bro. Solid. Oh. I don't know if it's still there or not. Something there. Probably just a poxy dogfish <laughs> after all that. Oh, yeah. But it's, uh, yeah. Dogfish, oh, isn't it? Oh, ah! Thought that was, thought that was something good. Have a turn of a bite. Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> Dirty dogfish. Oh dear, one last thing. Dogfish! <laughs> This is turned definitely a dog fish tonight. Yeah, they're good sized doggies, but dog fish nonetheless. So is that on squid, you say? Yeah, this one was. Yeah. Hopefully, you undo one hook. Without getting the other one in your hand. Well done. Nicely done. Still very alive. 
Yeah. Well done. Yeah, suddenly the dogfish have come back on. So let's hope there's a ray amongst them. No. So the rod, the rod that's out there with bluey bait on, the, that nicely rigged up bit of bluey that uh, Jay gave me, has been out there a while and I've not seen any... Oh, hello. No, wait a minute. My sand eel bait's going. So the one with the sand eel on, that's just having a rattle and a tap. I think it's a dogfish. To be honest. Definitely going. steam on my breath. <laughs> Doesn't feel cold tonight though. It's very humid. I'll leave that out there developing and in the meantime I'll bring in the one with the sat with the bluey on the left hand rod. Be very surprised there's not a dogfish on the end of that and um, Freshen the bait up. Well, I've got something different. A whiting. Just got it in the face. What a great big bit of bluey. And Jay, you got a fish on there, Jay? Well, hey! No. Do you want a whiting for bait? Yeah? Here you go. Well, I'm very fresh whiting. No. Got a bit of activity on this rod. The nearer rod. Rod on the right. Can you see it? The camera, yeah. Steve's been having some knocks as well. I think we've got a, the doggies, the pack of dogs are in again. Well, I've been getting a quivery bite with the left hand rod. Got a violent quivery bite now. Remember there's monofill on there, so it absorbs a lot of the bite. I think that was... Did you just have a dogfish then? Yeah, it dogfish. On the squid. Oh, on a squid. Yeah, I've got blue here and a squid. Like... Yeah.
Well, I did have quite a rattly bike just then. Of course, I put the camera on it, and we all know what happens as soon as you put the camera on, it stops. Come on, fish, give us another rattle. I think there might be something on the right hand rod as well, actually. Probably been there for quite a while. Might wind that, wind that right hand rod in now. See if there's a dogfish on the end there. It might, it might be across the groin, so I might have to wind it across the groin. Yeah, definitely across the groin. It's going to come over the top of you there, Jay. I think. Oh no, it might be in line with the groin. <laughs> Sorry? Yeah. I think there's a dogfish on here. Dogfish! It's, it's been on there on a while. Yeah. Pity can't use them for baiting it really. <laughs> Must be something that eats dogfish, surely. Seals probably. I saw a seagull trying to eat one once. Another little doggy. And away. All right, I don't know if we're seeing this, but there's it's an amazing halo around the moon. That halo around the moon is caused by an ice crystal cloud that's very, very high altitude. Um, and it's a portend of a warm front coming. So the weather getting bad in the next few days. That, beautiful. Don't get to see it that often. Getting to the end, certainly my last cast on my right hand rod. The left hand rod has very possibly got a dogfish asleep on the end of it. Well, thanks very much for joining us. <laughs> Bad hair day, I've just taken my hat off so I can put the headlight on me. This my hair in the right mess. Um, unless something happens spectacular in the next sort of 10 minutes, I'm gonna pack up and start heading home. Way past my bedtime. And in about 26 hours from now, I'll be getting up to go to work. So, um, 
yeah, you know, it was. We had one ray between the three of us, which is better than no rays, I guess. And shed loads of dogfish. I mean, I don't. I lost count of how many dogfish I've had. And I'm sure everyone was the same. Keep safe, keep saying, keep fishing, catch you on the next one. And hopefully the next one will be out on my new boat. So, see you all later. I just had an almighty slack line bite on, this, on, the, on my left hand rod. So, uh, what could that mean? Dogfish! <laughs> Yeah, I'm all right, I'm clear of it, I think. Still there. No, nothing there. Yeah. Yeah. This bait's still all right, I'll whack it back out. It's been a long day, yeah. but uh, I think that kind of sums up the day, really. <laughs> I'm not even sure how that's hooked, because it's not on the hook. It's looked like it's gilled itself on the line, on the snood. <laughs> if it was a bit early in the evening, that goby would be going straight back out as bait. It's not even hooked. It got his, it got his little tiny tassely things wound up with a line. Don't expect to see them now, do you, like that?
lovely bloody uh, bait as well. 